Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys, again. You're welcome to join us over on Patreon for basically $1 a month. Even less if you pay in advance. Uh, you could get exclusive videos. Usually about every three days, I would say, we do an exclusive Patreon video and talk uh, very, very bluntly, let's just say. Okay, let's start with this fire. This is an extreme fire situation being fed by extreme winds of over 50 miles an hour. This is in northern Texas. Uh, right over here, you see LaFors, Texas. So, you know, it's just something to be aware of as the weather has been very, very extreme. I know there's going to be a lot of changes in store. We were talking to family members up in Wisconsin, and it was in the 60s, which is not typical. Um, we're in the 80s, but then we're going to have high temperatures in the mid-50s in a few days. It's just switching from one thing to another. Mm -hmm. I know the extremes are just really extreme. Yes, extremes. Extreme is what is defining this world at this point in time. Yes, a pendulum is a good word. Absolutely, and the left and the right, can it get any more extreme? Can it get any more, well just tense <laughs> it really is and here you have republican congressman ken buck introduced a resolution to invoke the 25th amendment and remove 46 from office the respected congressman wrote president biden has proven that he is no longer fit for office his cognitive decline and lack of mental stamina have been both public and undeniable I call on Biden's cabinet to constitutionally remove him from office using the 25th Amendment. You know, it, it's interesting to note, too, like if you go over to, say, the Drudge Report and you just look at what they've been talking about, it, it's been all, for the most part, uh, Trump, 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 as opposed to Biden. And it, there's this echoing and mirroring with, you know... Um, his his cognitive abilities basically they're making it out like 45 and 46 are both senile old fools but you know the reality is we understand it's nothing but a puppet show and its intention is to just inflame civil uh unrest in the united states before they're ready for their big shift well, yeah, I mean, Biden, you know, I mean, I, I think he really enjoys being the senile old fart. I think he has fun and he's probably giggling when he's not on camera about how much fun he gets to have wearing but, his diapers. But, but which one, though? I mean, you know, because there's the evil diabolical one that's really like nasty and still seems sharp. Then there's, you know, Dementia Joe that's always walking in the wrong door and, yeah. you know, going off in the wrong direction. Yeah. And, and then there's a couple others that are kind of in the middle. I know. I see them all as actually really enjoying their role, especially the one with dementia. <laughs> ah, okay. Explosive device detonates outside Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall's office. Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall said an explosive device detonated outside his office over the weekend. No additional details were released. But he issued the statement Monday in the early hours of Saturday, February 24th. An explosive device was detonated outside the Alabama Attorney General's office building in Montgomery. Thankfully, nobody was hurt or injured. You know, this is so clearly you're going to see that just in this video, uh, the direction that these things are taking it's a big escalation. Hazmat at Donald Trump Jr.'s home. White powder in a letter. Hmm. The test came up inconclusive. But, you know, again, it just shows you um, the situation's really escalating. Everything in this world at this point in time is escalating. Now we're finding out that there was an attempted assassination of Tucker Carlson. What? Really? Yes, a man has been arrested in Moscow, accused of being paid by Ukrainian intelligence to plant an explosive device on Tucker Carlson's vehicle and assassinate the prominent American journalist while he was there to interview Putin. 
So we'll never know if that was real or if this is just an, a story to inflame people. Yeah. Exactly. You know, I'm glad you pointed that out because this is it's all about getting our emotions going, kind of like getting the juices flowing for other dimensional beings to feed off people. Well, and also they, they want to trigger people into extreme action. NATO and EU states considering sending troops to Ukraine. Uh, here you have Robert Fico, the prime minister of Slovakia, meeting Emmanuel Macron. And Macron said nothing's off the table, and FICO was talking about the possibility of sending troops to Ukraine. Putin responds to NATO chief's vow that Ukraine will join NATO yeah, on the war's anniversary. So here you have uh, Jens Stoltenberg saying Ukraine is going to join NATO. It's just a matter of when. Putin saying, if Ukraine joins NATO and attempts to bring Crimea back by military means, it means the European countries will automatically be pulled into a war conflict with Russia. And he said, of course, NATO's and Russia's potentials are incomparable. We understand it, but we also understand, and he goes on to say, that we have, if not one of the largest, the largest nuclear arsenal in the world, and anything would be on the table. Okay. That says a lot. Yet again, you know, this is this is partially for creating louche, but it's also about setting the table for what comes next. Because they are going to, in my opinion, they're going to make it look like there was a limited exchange, but it's not going to be that technology. It's going to be a different form of technology that we've been talking about. Something closely akin to uh, the rods of God, which are basically uh, very, very heavy, dense tungsten rods that are literally the size of telephone poles that would come off of satellites in orbit, gaining incredible speeds, and would impact with the blast of a, of a lower-yield nuke, but with none of the radiation. Yet, at the same time, if that did hit, we would think there probably was, especially if there were you know, dozens, hundreds, or thousands of them hitting, we would think that there there was some sort of, you know, into the world Armageddon exchange, and, you know, it would just cause massive chaos. And, and you know, that is always <laughs> the way they do things, maximum chaos. They love the chaos. They love to have people really off their game. They love to have people just in total fear. And, and honestly, you can only prepare for so much. You have to be able to let a certain amount go, get ready, do what you can for yourself and your family, and then continue to live your life because that's what we came here to do. And they're here to disrupt that. So I think that's our way of pushing back is just living your life, but prepare. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we have to figure out how to defund the uh, diabolical, maniacal darkness that runs the planet. And, and obviously that would be through not utilizing their monetary system, you know, doing things like uh, abolishing the Fed, uh, abolishing central banking, uh, totally abolishing the whole concept of corporations. Because, again, they can just, you know, let one corporation fail and the same people will just start another. And and they're playing with monopoly money because they could manifest it anytime they want. But we see a lot of signs of what could be real change as well, as we were talking about in the earlier video uh, today. The Irish Senate voted unanimously to impose sanctions against Israel. They voted for imposed sanctions against Israel, actively prevent the passage of U.S. weapons through Irish airspace to Israel, and advocate for international arms embargo on Israel. Hmm. Okay. The Houthis knock out underwater cables linking Europe to Asia, so says the report. They successfully targeted uh, four cables believed to belong to AAE-1, CECOM, EIG, and TGN systems, which marked a serious disruption of communications between Europe and Asia. 2024, one of the other things that we'll definitely uh, think back and think 2024 was the year of interruptions 
and communication breakdowns. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I mean, I'm seeing that too. And I, I do believe that there has been some tests and some taps on the system to see where we're at, uh, to see, you know, what kind of, what kind of strength do they have, you know, what is going to happen. So I, I think communication is right up there. And I also think that they're going to blame a lot of things on that poor sun. You know, the sun is here to do good things for us. It's not here to completely wipe us out they don't want the sun to wipe us out when it comes to the rods of god what i saw is that this technology and it's been upgraded and it's been updated when it hits in the ground it is going to go after those things that are actually wired so it's all of our wired electricity that we have now that's what i saw and um, you know, I was watching Joni Patri and it, and I saw it in about three months time. That was a couple weeks ago. And she, she too saw planetary wise that there was a big disrupt, um, you know, in the same time frame because I'm always looking for confirmation. I don't like to just pop off with things that are going to scare people. I, I like people to be prepared and then have some confirmation to try to back that up um, just for people's knowledge so they can be ready with their families. Yeah, the one thing that the power system pays attention to is the astrology, and they will utilize the astrology to their to their maximum benefit as much as possible. They understand how the universe verse works, and they don't want us understanding. Here is another Freudian slip. And we're stepping up uh, in every way we can because we know that Russia must uh, win this war. It's a, sorry, that Ukraine must win this war uh, against Russia. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me of that that Bill Gates uh, infamous one about doing a real good job. We could decrease, yeah, by, by about ten we to fifteen. We know that Russia must uh, win this war. Uh oh, yeah, they do tell us the truth. You know, Gil Bates has uh, Jen Psaki. Remember, she had Freudian slips come out. The the, the newer one that left to. Uh, there's just been so many Freudian slips out there because, you know, these are they are just actors. They're nothing but actors. They know what they're supposed to say. They, they're, they're just giving you, you their lines. This is all they're doing. And yet sometimes they understand the next act and they understand what the next act is going to be all about. Well, you know, Russia and China, they won the war. So, you know, oh, Canada, you know, you're under new leadership. Same thing with the U.S. Mm -hmm. They do. They do. And, and I do think it really puts us at a disadvantage because they do understand what's coming next. And, you know, we saw this and this is really cute. You know, Queen Elizabeth, Henry Kitzinger, Jacob Rothschild, Klaus Schwab is next. Well, that's great if he's next. But if you think anything is really going to change, it's just not, you know, we're at the human level. All of the changes need to come above the human level with the entities that are non-human. They're the ones who are really um, running the show in a really big way. So it would really take our consciousness coming together in a huge, huge way. And unfortunately, mainstream is still in charge. People are just busy watching the news, going to work, you know, living their lives, which they should. But there's just not enough of that collective consciousness to sway um, the bigger reality. Absolutely. You know what? This is like <clears throat> this is like when you watch those sitcoms and all of a sudden, you know, one of the members of the cast is is deceased or something. And so they got to bring a new actor in to play the same person. This is what we see with Biden. This is what we see with Hillary. There's there's more than one Biden. There's more than one Hillary. So, you know, does it really matter? Uh, it's, it's just going to be cueing another actor. Mm -hmm. That's all they're doing. We got to think outside the box. And, and so many people are thinking outside of the box nowadays. But we still see um, so many that will have these amazing realizations of what's going on in one level. And then they're still totally locked in another usable box. Mm -hmm. For the control system and as long as that's the case they don't care all they got to get you is to stay in the bigger maze as long as we stay in the bigger maze we could be utilized by them as a tool and and so many people have been utilized as tools of the system 
in some way, shape, or form, all of us have at one point in time. You know, we can learn so much from animals. This this guy, nobody gave him any rules, and he didn't really care to listen to any rules. He had something to do, and he just he went and did it. And he did it in a nice way, and it didn't bother anybody. It didn't hurt him. It didn't hurt them. They're so simple. They they have something in front of them, and that's what they address. And that's what I think people need to do more of is just address what is in front of you right now. Do your very, very best. This is not an easy time. A lot of people are having a lot of issues when it comes to being in this 3D reality. And sometimes it does get really hard. And when it does, just just do what is right in front of you. Absolutely. As always, guys, thanks for your support. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.